Mars. And in Egypt, an Italian uh, team claims to have found in Sahara Desert a red ochre cave painting depicting the night nativity. Problem is, it's 5,000 years old. Uh, that could be a problem. The same pan reddish brown ochre, ochre's a type of natural dye, was found in the ceiling of a small cavity in the Egyptian Sahara Desert during an expedition to sites between Nile Valley and Yofkabar Plateau. Plateau. It's a very evocative scene, which indeed resembles Christmas nativity, but it predates by some 3,000 years. Geologist Marco Morelli, director of Museum of Planetary Sciences in Prado near Florence, Italy, told Seeker. Morelli found a cave crying in... Sorry about that. The machine's playing games with me. Really found a cave drawing in 2005, but now his team has decided to reveal the amazing find. I was unable to copy the picture to my computer, so I had to use a screen capture tool, and we'll take a good look at it. The discovery has several implications as it raises new questions on the icon, iconography of one of the more powerful Christian symbols, Riley said. The scene features a man and a woman missing the head because of painting detachment and a baby. It could have been interpreted as a normal picture of a family with a baby between parents other details make this drawing unique. He noted his newborn is drawn slightly above as if raising to the sky. Such a position with David not yet between parents would have meant a birth or a pregnancy. His death was associated to Earth in contemporary rock art from the same area. It's likely the birth was linked to the sky. Morelli said, the scene becomes more symbolically complex if other figures, if the other two figures, two animals and a small circular feature are taken into consideration. On the upper part is a headless lion, a mythical beast, which appears in rock, several rock art drawings from the same area, while below the scene is a bamboo or an anthropomorphic monkey can be seen. Looks more like a goat to me. In the East, Neolithic artist draw, drawn what appears to be a star. That's not very well written. The research is called Sight Cave of Parents. No doubt it's an intriguing drawing. You don't find similar scenes until early Christian age. Now here's the drawing. Let's take a look at the picture itself. A little closer. And you have to decide for yourself whether you think this is an expression of the nativity scene. First of all, how do they know that's a lion? It could be any bipedal critter up at the top there, or it might not be anything at all. Uh, might be a building. I don't know. 
Well, they said they found similar things in the area. And then you have what they're calling the monkey or whatever. I thought it looked like goat. And this little blob uh, uh, to the right, called the cursor, little blob to the right of the uh, man. And I find the woman rather questionable, but I can't disprove it. It looks like she has two long arms and two short arms and no head. So you can decide for yourself whether that's an actual nativity scene. Uh, I think we have some researchers here with some rather overactive imaginations. Myself, that's what I'm thinking. Mm. They're going to have to do better than that. And let's not uh, forget that the star in the east, according to the Gospel of Matthew, the star in the east went and parked itself over Bethlehem. Because the Magi went into Jerusalem and they were asking around, and that got, that got Herod uh, all upset. They said they saw a star in the east, and then Matthew says that the star went before them and parked itself over Bethlehem. Uh, can anybody say UFO? Anyway, that's our mad science update. This is a strange one. You can decide for yourself whether that's... You think that's an actual nativity scene? Frankly, I'll pass. I think they're going to have to do better than that. That's just my opinion. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.